in the north, we have the microhomalias. In the south, we have the harmoniuses. In the east, we have green hills and snow-capped mountains. And in the west, the hot thaw desert. Such is the diversity of our country. India, also called as Bharat, is not just rich in its landforms, but also in cultural heritage, language, food, and the list goes on. Way back in 1947, our country got its freedom to various freedom fighters like Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, and many more. Their sacrifices are one of the main reasons why we are having a peaceful life in our country today. Over the years, India has seen a lot of progress. All thanks to our natural resources, the skilled people and great leaders. The beautiful Ganga flowing from the north, the Kaveri river in the south, both feeding the farmlands and quenching our thirst. The historic temples, churches, stupas and one of the seven wonders of the modern world. The Taj Mahal, all of these have got us word by recognition and harmony amongst us. India is now independent in science, technology and defense. A big salute to our Indian Army, Navy and Air Force. The best part of all is the food. India, well known for spices, has delicious cuisine all of us. You name any dish and we have it. The lip smacking dishes like biryani, paisam, halwa are already making me hungry. Are they making you hungry too? Well, every region and state has its authentic cuisine and can never be compared. Talking about the languages, there are more than thousands of languages and every uh, 50 km has its different dialect. This can be easily noticed in our Urpi district too. This year, our country celebrated 75th years of independence. Azadika Amrit Mahotsav is a tribute to our freedom fighters and freedom movement. We as the budding generations of India must take part in activities that our country will be proud of. Let us put in our efforts in making India reach greater height in international level. Let us all pledge that we will never let our country down. Jai Hind!